Hello everybody, this is Alex Big Blue. Welcome to Seven Books in Seven Days, Episode 4. So, it is day one, and I just read Dark X-Men number one. This is of a five-part miniseries. I read kind of like the prelude series recently in series review. If you hadn't checked that out, you can see it there. But, yeah, so this is the actual normal series after that. Um, it's pretty interesting. I like that Mystique is basically trying to be the field leader, trying to control a bunch of whack jobs and loose cannons. The team is pretty interesting. It's a lot of characters that hasn't really got that much of a uh, push before, if you will. And, uh, yeah, of course, Norman Osborn is the whack job <laughs> that's set it all up, so you, you never know what to believe anyways with him because he's always got some kind of horrible schemes going on. But, yeah, I thought this was pretty interesting. I definitely enjoyed it. I want to check out the rest of it soon. But, yeah, this is it for day one. It is now day two, and I just read... Battle World Thor's number one. That was my book of the day, and uh, so far, this is the first one of this particular series I've read. Of course, it being number one, glad to have it. I have the second part as well. But yeah, anyways, it was a pretty interesting story. So all the Thors are detectives, and also like police, kind of both, I guess. I mean, I know detective is kind of one anyway, but but they investigate. Um, murders or anything like that and that's what they're doing in this so all the different Thors are trying to figure this out and of course it focuses on some of them more than others in this one but it's really uh pretty interesting I would say and it ends in a pretty uh dramatic way that leads into the next one pretty cool in uh, pretty cool ending something crazy happens um so very excited to check out issue number two which I do have like I said I believe it's a four-parter in total, which I don't have the third and fourth one yet. But, but yeah, really cool cover also, by the way. And, yeah, I would say this is pretty good, uh, pretty interesting. I enjoyed it. Uh, I'd like to read issue two soon. It is now day three, and I just read The Astonishing X-Men number one. Um, first of all, I really like the cover on this book. Um, but, anyways, I was going to say this was a really fun read. It was a really good start to the series. Um, I enjoyed it quite a bit. And I definitely would like to read more of it and collect more of it. I think I might have some more of it, but I, need, I don't think I have number two, so I probably need to get on that. But it's, it, it's done in the Age of Apocalypse. It has a super huge team of mutants, including the ones that you see on the cover. Uh, yeah, and overall it was really interesting and uh, pretty good. It was a good setup for the rest of the series. They're trying to battle Apocalypse's hordes and all this type of things, you know, against they're against him pretty much, and Holocaust and all the other villains. Uh, but yeah, I really liked the team and the mutants here, and I thought the story was pretty good, a good start to the series. So yeah, that was it for day three. All right, it is now day number four, and Imsky361 uh, sent a sweet AOK -okay a while back, and it had Hawkman number one in it, among other things. So yeah, anyways, I finally read this. Um, first of all, a cool cover on this as well, by the way. But yeah, it was a pretty interesting story and good start to it. It has to do with his backstory, and he's trying to figure out a secret of his past, basically. And yeah, it was a pretty interesting start to it, I would say, and a uh, pretty quick read, too, for the, as far as that goes, so I, I dig that in general. But yeah, pretty cool. I like Hawkman a lot, so yeah, I dug the, this book. So that's it for day number four. It is now day number five. I just read Cable 150. It is um, a part of the Marvel Legacy. And uh, also it has a Marvel value stamp in it with Iceman on it, if I remember correctly. And uh, yeah, it's The Newer Mutants Part 1. And it's a really cool cover as well, of course. But uh, I just read it. It was pretty cool. I like the... Um, the kind of jump into the story here, being a part one, and uh, has a lot of interesting characters in it. We didn't see everybody on the cover yet, but the ones we did see, I thought it was pretty interesting what they was doing. They're on a mission trying to figure out something but I, that I won't spoil, but yeah, pretty fun. We get Cable and Longshot in this one, as well as some of the other characters here. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good start to this uh, legacy part one, uh, whatever it technically is, of the New Mutants, I guess. 
But yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, I enjoyed it. I like the characters. Of course, I like the X-Men stuff. But yeah, overall, pretty decent read. I thought it was pretty fun, and I'm glad I have it. Glad I checked it out. That is day number five. It's now day number six, and I just read Battleworld Thor's number two. So yeah, I continued from earlier in the video and read number two. Um, it was really interesting. This one I liked even better because it had a lot of action in this one, and the story really went uh, a lot farther. It was really cool to see the progression of what happened from the last one. It has a really cool battle in it between Thor's. And uh, it ends in a very interesting way for the next one as well. Just overall, a really fun book. Uh, yeah, I would recommend you guys check it out this series. And I, I want to get the third and fourth part of it now to read as well after I've wrote, read these two. All right. Last but not least, it is uh, day number seven. And I read the book of the day was Rise of the Midnight Suns, Ghost Rider number 28. It is part one of six of the Rise of the Midnight Suns uh, miniseries as well. First of all, very cool cover, of course. This is also the first appearance of Caretaker, so that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so let's get to the review. So it was a really interesting book. I love Ghost Rider and whether it be Catch or Blaze, you know, any of those guys really. So this is really good. It had a lot of villains in it, and it was a pretty interesting story in general. I really like Caretaker and his part in this as well um just a really cool start to this series i definitely like it a lot pure 90s goodness i'd highly recommend it if you like ghost rider uh just really cool and i really want to read the rest of it now but this has been seven books in seven days i'm alex Big blue thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it see you later